Wenchford is a beautiful spot nestled deep within the Forest of Dean, with plenty of picnic tables and an easy access path. Good morning! It's Friday the 31st of May 2024 and I've come here to Wenchford where I'm going to be starting and ending today's walk. Welcome to Wenchford. In times past, much commercial traffic passed through here. Timber, bark, charcoal, iron, coal and stone were extracted from the forest and taken down this valley to ports on the River Severn. Later, the Forest of Dean Central Railway was built. You are currently standing on that very same track bed. Blackpool Brook trickles through the site under the dappled shade of the large oak trees. There is even a paddling area for all to enjoy. Barbecues are welcome if raised off the grass and picnic tables. So I've parked at the car park here at Wenchford. There's a picnic site, plenty of picnic tables and seats, and there are public toilets, which is always good. The only thing I will say, certainly in the gents, there's no hand dryer, there's no means of drying your hands, you know, no automatic dryer or paper towels or anything. So I don't think it's unreasonable, bearing in mind that you're paying to park here, that they put some kind of dryer in there. But apart from that, <laughs> no complaints. It's five pounds to park all day, which I don't think is too bad, really. I think that's standard for a Forestry Commission car park. OK, I shall get on with today's walk. Well, I have had five wonderful nights here in the Forest of Dean. That was a lovely apartment I stayed in, in Bream. Suited me down to the ground and I'd stay there again. Um, so yeah, so that means I've had six days in the forest really. Um, and this is the, the last of six walks that I'm doing in the area. Um, I'm going home today, but the weather's good today, the forecast is looking good. There might be some showers, but overall, the forecast for today is better for, than the rest of the days I've had earlier this week. <laughs> so I thought, I'll do one final walk before I leave to go home later today. So yeah, so I've plotted this route today. It comes under, just under five miles. There will be some climbing involved in this, but uh, generally I opted to do a fairly short walk today to end my last day in the Forest of Dean on this occasion. So yeah, looking forward to it. Fowls well slayed. So here, yeah, turn off here. And basically, I zigzag down the hill. So, should be doubling back that way again in a minute. And very soon, I should be crossing the main road. At the bottom, I crossed Blackpool Brook to emerge onto the road on the outskirts of Blakeney. Here's the road, carefully does it, near a bit of a blind bend here and I notice that traffic does tend to speed along these roads. Anyway, I turn off again now and follow this lane called Pitchings Green. Oh, I think I only go up here a short way and then I take a path, I can see the path off to the right. Thank you. 
My path was a gradual climb up through the woods, and then after about half a mile, it levelled out as I found myself approaching Viney Hill. As the name suggests, this village lies on the top of a hill overlooking Blakeney and has a great pub, the New Inn. So this is Viney Hill. I remember coming for a meal in the New Inn once, many years ago. Probably talking about well over 30 years ago. I remember staying at a and b just for the one night. Um, it might have been called Viney Hill House. And it was just down the hill there, um, just off the junction with the A48. I remember sort of stopping there one night. I think I would have got the bus before I was driving. I got the bus to Viney Hill Turn and then stopped at the, be the bed and breakfast, had a meal at the New Inn. Um, I can't remember anything about it now because it was a long time ago. And then I remember walking right across the forest the next day. Uh, I think I ended up in Ross the next day. Yeah. Anyway, again, Viney Hill's not somewhere I come to very often, but uh, it's nice to be here today. Let's see if I can get inside the church. All Saints Church is a Victorian church and was begun in 1865 and consecrated in 1867 and was built as a memorial to Charles Bathurst. It is built of local red sandstone with grey sandstone dressings to a design by Ewan Christian. There's a sign there saying church open. Looks promising. So let's hope it actually is open. So, another beautiful church. Oh. Smells like somebody's been doing some polishing as well. <laughs> Smells like Brasso. <laughs> They've been cleaning the brass. Yeah, it's a nice smell anyway. And yet another absolutely beautiful church. Look at that. Oh. This is fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. So that was All Saints Church here at Viney Hill. Lovely. Another beautiful church. Okay, well, I've just got to make my way towards Yorkley now. Following the road towards Yorkley for a short distance, I turned off right to follow a path through woodlands, which ran more or less parallel to the road. It just made this part of the route much more pleasant and simply walking beside the road. I've had a lovely holiday in the Forest of Dean this week. Um, although, it's been more of a working holiday, really, because <laughs> I have been working. You know, I've been out every day filming walks and I'm knackered by the end of each day, but I enjoy it. It's work that I really enjoy doing. Otherwise I wouldn't do it. I mean, that's my hobby. But what I've enjoyed about this week is 
once I finish filming for the day, I get back to my digs, have a shower and relax, uh, and then later on, I look forward to going out for some food. Um, the first night, which was the Sunday night, a lot of the pubs stop serving food because they do Sunday lunches. So by about four o'clock, they stop serving food. So what I ended up doing was getting a Chinese takeaway from a place in Lydney, and it was lovely. It's a place called Jimmy's Kitchen, I think. Uh, but that was tea for two nights because I couldn't eat all of it on the first night. So uh, I put the rest in the fridge and had the rest of it on the Monday night. It was great. And then the next three nights, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I found some pubs that were listed on TripAdvisor with good reviews. Um, the Miners at Whitecroft, the Allpool Inn at Sling, and the Fountain Inn at Park End. And they were all lovely. Food was great at all of them. Food was probably best at the Allpool. I mean, that was my favourite um, for food. But overall, I think the Fountain is my favourite in Park End. The food was nice enough, but it was the friendliness of the staff that made it. So that makes the whole evening for me. I mean, I've been to places in the past where the food has been fantastic, but because the staff haven't been very friendly, it slightly spoils it for me. But uh, the Fountain Inn was lovely. They were all nice, all three of the places I went to, all friendly enough, but the Fountain was my favorite of all three. Anyway, I'm now arriving in Yorkley. I re-emerged onto the road as I entered Yorkley. The Bailey Inn is one of two pubs in the village, the other being the Nags Head at Yorkley Slade. Next to the community centre is the War Memorial. I walked past the Bailey Inn to find a footpath off to the right. Okay, well I'm just looking for a particular path, one that I remember walking along years ago. I know it's around here somewhere, but everywhere is overgrown, so it's difficult to see sometimes. <laughs> This is it, yep, so it's been a long time since I've walked along here, but in a moment there's something I'm really wanting to see. I'm just wondering if it's going to be how I remember it from many years ago. I remember it well, this is it. <laughs> uh, the trees have grown a bit. I seem to remember it was a bit more open when I was last here, and that was 22 years ago. Yeah, it was 2002 I was here. I think it was June or July 2002. Yeah, happy memories. Came here with friends, Steve Kay, Izzy Gordon, Scott Hill. Yeah, that's another story. And I remember this too. It's the view. Wonderful view across the forest there. Lovely. Yeah. You can see across to Bream from here. Of course, Bream is where I've been spending the last five nights. Fantastic. Lovely views indeed. Well. A lot changes in 22 years, as I say. I can remember it from when I was here then, but as I say, the landscape changes over time and the trees in the forest get felled and others grow. So yeah, trees have definitely grown since I was last here. Anyway, I've just got to follow this path up here in line with the electricity poles. In a 
quarter of a mile, the path came out onto a forest track, which I followed for another half a mile to Danby Lodge. This is Danby Lodge, and I can hear someone else mowing the lawn. <laughs> Danby Lodge was built at the same time as Speech House in the 1670s, as part of Charles II's revitalisation of the forest. Each housed a verderer responsible for an area of the forest called a walk. The area surrounding Danby is pocked with the depressions of old coal mines and was the site of one of the last independent mines in the forest, which was working until just a few years ago. Ah, I think this is the Jesus Rock. <laughs> I must admit, I've no idea why it's called the Jesus Rock. I couldn't find any information about it. But I was here 22 years ago as well. But uh, back then, I remember having views from here. Not many views now. The trees have grown a bit. <laughs> anyway, it's still nice to see it again. Well, I've walked further along the path, just a few metres along from Jesus Rock. I've got a bit more open views from here. Lovely. Yeah. That bench there was obviously built to take in the views, but again, the trees have grown a bit, I think, since the bench was put there. <laughs> I seem to remember when I was here back in 2002, you could see right across the River Severn, but you can't see the Severn today. The trees are in the way. <laughs> oh, well, it's still a nice open spot anyway. Right, I'm going to go and sit on that bench now and have me sarnie. I've done most of the walk now. I've just got, I think, less than a mile to go, but it's time for lunch anyway, and I'll sit here and have me food. This is the last leg of the walk. Not much further to go at all. Just down the bottom of this path and I'll be reunited with the main road near Wedgford. Upon reaching the road, I crossed to the other side to Blackpool Bridge. This is Blackpool Bridge. Now, Blackpool Bridge would have carried the old Dean Forest Central Railway. Okay, so, but just beyond Blackpool Bridge, there's something interesting I want to see. May as well take a look before I finish the walk. Well, there's not a huge amount to see here, but you can see the remnants of the Roman road. The Roman road stretched right across the forest from Lydney. Uh, and here, I gather that this is the best surviving example of that Roman road. Still an interesting piece of history. That's it then, that's my walk finished. That's also my week in the Forest of Dean over. But I will be returning again soon. I've actually got a couple of nights booked towards the end of June and I'm due to be spending two nights in a pub. So I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, I'm gonna go back to my car now. I'm gonna climb up onto Blackpool Bridge, follow the course of the old railway and that'll take me straight back to the picnic site at Wenchford, not far to go.